What is up guys? Welcome back to another video on Pure Panorama. In this video I want to go over a small list of things that I check on the 24 valve Cummins before hitting the open road, jumping the highway, and going on a trip. So uh, just let's let's just jump right into it. Here we go. The first thing I obviously check is the oil. So always check the oil before going on a trip. Typically, no matter what it looks like, I will always drain it and do a fresh oil change on the truck uh, just to have that fresh fluid in there uh, before any type of trip. That way you know that you're good for the duration of your trip. Another fluid to check, obviously, is your transmission fluid back there. Now, I... I still need to change the transmission fluid in my truck, but I have just kind of been putting that off because there's a couple of other things that I want to get for the truck and do for it when I have the pan off the transmission and I'm changing the fluid. I want to look at getting the bands adjusted, a governor solenoid, pressure transducer, all that stuff. Uh, so I just kind of been putting that off, but I will check the fluid obviously um, before going on a trip and depending on what it looks like, sometimes it, it may need to be changed and it might not be a bad idea just to change it anyways try to get all fresh fluids in there you also want to check your air filter see how that thing's doing if you have a uh, a reusable filter that you can clean uh, maybe go ahead and clean it if you have something like the big honking air filter here maybe if it's looking like mine right now which is due to be swapped out here coming up pretty soon uh, might be good just to grab an extra one throw it in the truck bring it with you or just change it before you go you saw me change my fuel filter up here in the stock fuel filter housing the other night now i still use that stock fuel filter housing because i have a fast platinum 150 that doesn't have a, a filter and a water separator on it so it is plumbed through that stock fuel filter housing to utilize that filter still and then I have a water separator on the fast platinum and that's how I have my truck plumbed and and ran so I did change that filter the other night and uh, the water separator on the fast isn't due um, to be swapped out here for another couple thousand miles so I just left that alone and I'm gonna I'll get to that here in in probably like 2,000 miles or so, it, it'll need to be done. But definitely uh, check your fuel filter and things like that before you hit the road. Um, and it probably doesn't hurt just to pick up an extra one, throw it in the truck and bring it with you because anything honestly can happen when you're on the road. So it doesn't hurt to carry some extra stuff in the truck, just some spare stuff that you might, you might need, you never know. So always double check the tire pressure, make sure that they are inflated to the correct PSI and like you saw me do the other night, I rotated mine, even though uh, they might be due for rotation in a little while, and you're gonna be rotating them early just to go on a trip. That's not gonna hurt anything. It, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Switch up the uh, wear pattern of them and just get that done before going on a trip, hitting the, hitting the lengthy stretch of highway and just running the truck on the open road. So I got my tires rotated the other night and all of my tire pressures are A-OK. -okay. Now for the old 24 valve, I would, I don't have time to, but typically I would like to pop the valve cover off and check the valve lash do any adjustments on that if it needs to be done my valve lash is definitely going to be due for adjustment here within the next month or two um, but unfortunately I didn't have time to get to that yet uh, due to work schedule and things like that getting home later um, but we were we are going to be getting back into that and popping the valve cover off and adjusting that here pretty soon which I do have a video already up on the channel and and obviously when I do it again, I will run back over it a little bit as far as what I do, how it's done and things like that for anybody who doesn't know or might be new to these trucks. I always like to check the brakes over too, make sure that the pads still have good life left in them depending on the length of the trip and everything. Uh, if your pads are getting a little low, it might be, it might be worth it to change them out um, and possibly the rotors too. Just do a whole brake job on the truck before you take off and hit the road. Uh, but obviously we know that we just did the third gen brake upgrade on my 24 valve not too long ago I think a couple months back and we also have all new drums and shoes all that stuff in the rear end so my brakes are good 
which actually though they have developed a little squeak and I don't know why because everything is brand new on them so I have to look into why they are squeaking. If I press on the pedal like firmly and get into the brake pedal it doesn't squeak but if I lightly have my foot on it just kind of like creeping at a stoplight they're squeaking and I don't know where the squeak is coming from so I got to track that down figure out what is causing that and get that taken care of because it's driving me nuts and I know it's not because the shoes or the pads are getting worn out because everything like I said is brand new. Another thing to check while you're up here checking your front brakes jack up the front of the truck and put your hand at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock on the tire and see if you can press start pressing in and out see if you can't wiggle your tire check your ball joints for any wiggles or movement see if they are starting to fail or go bad also you can put your hands at nine and three and try to wiggle the tire front to back start to check your wheel bearings see if see if you have any movement up down side to side and just check to see if the ball joints or wheel bearings have any play in it because uh, you definitely want to make sure that that stuff is intact and not going to fall apart as you're doing 7580 down the freeway another thing i like to do is get down underneath here if you have done the u-joints on your truck already or they've been done a while back they're they're not the stock ones and you have zerk fittings in them they can be greased i always get down here and i grease the u joints i will grease the ball joints anything that can be greased so we got the three u joints here in the rear drive shaft there's three u joints in the front drive shaft a couple of them up here are, are a little tough to get to so depending on how much time you have it might not be feasible to get those ones greased but then we got zerk fittings on the ball joints and everything too that we can go around and grease any of your front steering components, your tie rod ends, drag link, your track bar, any of that stuff that has Zerk fittings, like I said, go around, grease them up, make sure that they are loaded up and uh, just just ready to go. Anything that has a Zerk fitting and can take a grease gun, just go around and hit them, load them right up with grease before hitting the road and just play it safe. Now I also like to bring extra fluid, uh, extra oil, extra transmission fluid, extra coolant, um, extra brake fluid, any of that stuff I will throw under the back seat in the toolbox of the truck. Always bring extra fluids. You never know, like I already mentioned, you never know what can happen when you're on the road. And instead of trying to track down a part store or get somewhere to pick that stuff up, it, you're better off just being on the safe side of things and bringing stuff like that with you. Uh, me personally, I'd go as far as bringing like my spare set of injectors, stuff like that, just little parts like that. Like I said, I mean, you could you could do something to the fuel system when ripping. You, you never know. You never know what can happen when you're out there on the road. If you have a little bit of extra space after you pack all the stuff that you're going to need for the trip, clothes, food, anything, depending on what you're doing, where you're going, if there's any extra space left over and you have spare parts like that that you can just throw in the truck and fill empty spots and, and fill that fill that leftover space up with I would do it I I would bring that stuff uh, just to be on the safe side because you just when you get out there um, you just never know anything is possible also good to go around check your intercooler boots all that stuff um, check your batteries your battery terminals all your wiring just just go around and visually inspect the truck up and down and front to back, side to side, just make sure that everything looks the way that it should. Make sure she sounds good. Make sure your fluids are clean or freshly changed. Like I said, all this stuff I've gone over, um, it's just a, it's just good habits to get into before going on a trip. Especially if you're going to be bringing your family along and stuff. You're going to have kids with you in the vehicle or anything like that. You want to make sure you're as prepared as possible and uh, you, that things are, are gone over and inspected thoroughly so that you have a good feeling in your gut and everything before you get on the road. Now a lot of you guys might trust your trucks as they sit and, and maybe like whatever just hit the road and go but me I, I like to go over things make sure that they are what they're supposed to be and then I am 100% confident in stuff and wake up in the morning hit the road and we're on our way So I hope you liked that little video about some of the stuff that I go over and I check I probably even forgot some stuff in trying to keep the video short and in trying to cover more of the main points and in main things that are More crucial to kind of go over and check uh, if you guys have anything to add to it 
go ahead, you know what to do. Leave that stuff in the comment section. If there's any other things that you guys check, I wanna hear about that in the comment section. Also, as always, hit that like button on your way out. Show this video some love. Liking the videos really does help the channel with growth, getting the videos recommended to new people, hopefully to make them family members. If you are new here, stopping in for the first time, hit that subscribe button, join the community, join the family, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. And we should hopefully, I think, be leaving bright and early to uh, hit the road head down to Pennsylvania for the East Coast Diesel Nationals. I uh I can't wait. I need to get out of here. Peace. I just wanna keep